One very good way of getting a job done is to set to and do it yourself. And that's what these men are doing. They're members of the Vogelmorn Bowling Club, Wellington. And in three years of voluntary weekend work, they've constructed a green for their club's use. The £2,000 needed for the job was raised locally, and club members did the rest. The site of the green was on a hillside, and using only picks and shovels, they had to remove 5,000 cubic yards of ground to level it off. The finishing touches have been applied, and the last working bee rounds off the morning in the traditional manner. The club has 70 members, and in case they thought they'd have it all their own way, their wives have formed a club too. The president's wife starts the bow rolling, and away they go. They should know every inch of the green by now. They put it there. Ah, he's obviously played the game before. A good wood, sir. They deserve every minute of enjoyment they get out of their green and more. They've waited a long time and worked hard to earn it. Seventeen competitors line up for the start of the New Zealand Road Cycling Championship and Olympic trial on the Miramar Circuit at Wellington. 125 miles of hard riding made harder by a fresh southerly wind. Riders make good time up our road hill, closely followed by the Olympic selectors. 17 times over this hill will test the best. Near the foot of the steep hill, the riders scarcely slacken speed to take the difficult S bend that will lead them down to Worsa Bay. Nice flat going now for the rest of the seven mile circuit round the coast road. With only four of the 17 laps to go, the field has thinned out a lot. Carter, Dutton and Mobley setting the pace. The steep grade takes its toll. The field spreads and shrinks, many riders having dropped out. The leaders pass through Shelley Bay, pedalling into a headwind. Carter, Dutton and Mobley still leading. Mobley was later forced off the road by a car and crashed, but remounted and continued to take third place. Nick Carter of Nelson turns into the straight for a sprint finish to complete the 125 mile course in the fast time of five hours, 46 minutes, 26 seconds. R. Dutton of Wellington is second, a. Mobley of Palmerston North is third. An outstanding performance earns Nick Carter nomination for the Olympic team. Examples of the skill attained by New Zealand manufacturers and aspects of the work of various government departments are on view to the public in the New Zealand Industries Fair held in King Edward Barracks, Christchurch. He's sampling the transport department's reaction test. I wonder how he'd react to that. The Air Force displays a Rolls-Royce Neen jet engine. There's something at the fair to interest everyone. What New Zealand makes, makes New Zealand. Steady on, son, you'll need that before long. There were 130 starters in this event, which was held during the fair. It was Christchurch's biggest baby show yet. They are the winners themselves, and all girls. First 
prize was a tubular steel folding pram designed by a new Plymouth man specially for carriage on trams and buses. Never mind, you'll be Miss New Zealand one day. Like it? Well, enjoy it while you can, old girl. You'll soon be strap hanging like the rest of us. Finalists and judges of the nationwide Miss New Zealand quest visit the National Film Unit Studios at Miramar. More than £13,000 was raised by candidates in this quest to swell the Aid for Britain funds. On the soundstage, preparations are underway for shooting Miss New Zealand. Miss Iris Crook, MBE, and Robert Steele relax with Miss Northland, Miss Nelson, and Miss Canterbury, now Miss New Zealand. In the course of the quest, Miss Auckland and Miss Westland shared many amusing experiences with judges Miss Helen Gardner and Philip Smithles. Betty Howarth of Westland was runner-up together with Auckland's representative, Miraka Raharui. Miss Waikato, Wyra Rapper and Wellington take things easy after a lot of fun with a great team. Jacqueline Fraser, Miss Otago and Marjorie Melville, Miss Wanganui. The girls and judges become interested spectators as the director explains things to Mary Wooten of Christchurch. On her trip to England, Miss New Zealand takes with her not only the good wishes of the people of this dominion, but also sincerely donated aid for Britain. Speaking for the girls, I would like to thank you, the people of New Zealand, for the wonderful help you've given us in this campaign. Nobody has minded helping because the cause has been such a truly great one. We have had a lot of fun throughout the quest. We've been like one big happy family. I am very proud of being chosen Miss New Zealand.